Jay Cortez here. Thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the greatest skill you need to learn and master to be successful in today's marketplace. A little bit about me, over two decades worth of sales experience from call centers, sold mortgages, advertising for hotels, solar, I've knocked on over 10,000 doors in my lifetime, ran a call center uh, for relocation services, probably done about 50 million in sales and transitioned into the real estate market and now own about 2,700 acres with my business partners. We're currently building the second Second largest mobile home park in the state of Florida. The greatest skill set that one needs to learn and master is sales. And what is the underpinning core foundation of sales? Communication. So if you were to focus on communicating effectively, what areas of your life would improve? Your relationship, your business, communication with your children. So if you focus on communication being the core tenet to learn to communicate effectively, everything in your sales life, your business life, your relational life, Life will improve just based on having the ability to meet people where they are as opposed to where you'd like to take them because you cannot connect and don't deserve to influence somebody if you haven't first connected with them one of the core tenets of communication is being able to connect with the listener and knowing that you have their best interests at heart. You're probably wondering how sales changed my life and for me to focus on becoming a great salesperson yeah anybody can focus on that I chose to focus on becoming an effective communicator. If I would just focus on being able to master the art of public speaking, reaching one to many, I could reach one on one a lot more efficiently. So my goal was to master the art of public speaking and as a byproduct of that, I became really good in sales. Because a part of sales that many people overlook is listening intently for the objections the client is not telling you. So if you were to focus on one thing and you really wanted to be great in sales, focus on communication and being able to communicate effectively. One of the things in communication that many people overlook is the ability to listen intently without your desire to interject. Allow the person to say everything that they need to say so that this way you can rebuttal their objections efficiently and they know that they're heard. Secondly, is to focus on providing the service to that client, whether they become your client or not. Provide a service that goes beyond just the sale. What I mean by that is, I'll give you an example. I used to do over the phone sales for a relocation company. When I did an assessment prior to going through the whole process with them, just to see if they met the base criteria of what was needed to be able to do business with us, if I saw that they didn't meet that criteria, I would still point them in the direction of how they could get their move done efficiently. Whether they're using my service or not, I have more information that, than they do on this specific path. So what you want to do is solve people's problem. Learn everything you can about your niche so you can provide them the information that they need so you can help them solve their problem. The reason sales saved my life is I could write my own check. And what I mean by that is if I can go into your company and you sell X, Y, and Z product or service, and I have a number in mind that I'm comfortable making as a sales representative for your company, all I have to do is enter your company and say, look, I'd like to work with you and for you. How much money do I have to make the company for me to make X, Y, and Z. And this is how I was operating all the way up until the point where I became a business owner, investor, doing my own thing. One of the avenues that I really took advantage of is my ability to communicate and sell really well. So what it allowed me the ability to do is walk into any location that they had to sell a product or service. And if it was something I could enjoy or could get passionate about, I knew there was a simple process for me to be able to get the job, regardless of the fact that I had a pretty, you know, messed up criminal record and, you know, three time convicted felon, you know, most cases they're just gonna throw your application in the garbage and you're not gonna get a shot. So people don't fail for a lack of resources, they fail for a lack of resourcefulness. I knew that if I can get in front of you and you and I can have a conversation and I can convey to you that I can sell your product or service better than you can, what is the likelihood that you're gonna give me a shot? It's very high. So once I had the job, then it was proving that I have the ability to put numbers on the board and without a shadow of a doubt, that's one of the things that I enjoy and I love. Having the ability to write your own check 
if you have enough faith in your own abilities because you've put in the reps, then sales is an avenue that I would recommend to anyone and everyone to hone your ability to communicate effectively. I got into a pinch, you know, and when, when finances get tight, for me, there's one simple go-to. What is a product or service that I'd be comfortable selling? Who is a person that I would enjoy working alongside that I could enjoy making money with and for? And the answer at this point was solar. So I flew from Florida to California. I got some bad information about a company that was pretty good. It turned out it was, wasn't a great opportunity. I knocked on doors for 30 days with no results. The company didn't have a website, no cars, no shirts. So I realized I can be good at this, but not with this company. So sometimes you'll have the right vehicle, wrong team. And that was the case. And then I called the right team, which my buddy Caleb, who I love to death, has a really cool solar company in Arizona. I said, Caleb, this is what I need. Can you provide it? He said, yes. I flew within 24 hours. And at this point, I wasn't even driving a vehicle. I didn't have a license to drive. I was riding a bird scooter in hot Arizona weather. And within three days, I closed my first sale door to door. And then from then on, I was the top guy in the company. Now, if I had the mental chatter and I allowed the mental chatter to own me, you've just knocked on doors for 30 days, you haven't made any money, you have bills to pay, you should give up and just go get a regular job. I would have failed, but I was so committed and had enough belief in my ability to develop a relationship with another human, convey to them the prospects of owning solar, of how they could save money and what they're doing for the planet, that this allowed me to persevere even after working for a whole month, knocking on doors, not making one dime. So what I would challenge you to do is regardless of how challenging things get or how tough things might turn out to be, persevere, keep pushing forward because it's on the other side of that last rep that the money is made. Thanks for tuning in to this video on sales. Looking forward to creating more content. Drop a comment below in what industry of sales you're in and what types of videos would help you the most. Check out my other social media channels, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.